is the Earth really flat? It might be hard to imagine that with all the latest technology that we have, that there is still a big debate on whether the Earth is flat or a round spherical shape. There are actually groups that firmly believe that the Earth is as flat as a pancake, with some flat Earth believers saying that the idea of a round Earth is just a conspiracy theory. Now, while it might sound crazy, there are reasons that people believe the Earth is flat. Science is all about looking at something, studying things, coming up with some crazy or outlandish ideas, and then setting out to prove those ideas are right or wrong. So in the best interest of science, let's look at the big question. Is the Earth really flat? In order to understand why someone thinks that the Earth is flat, you've got to try to understand what they believe in. It wouldn't be fair to just assume the Earth is round or that the Earth is flat without taking a look at the evidence. The evidence we should consider are those who consider the Earth is flat and those who explicitly reject this view. So what does a flat Earth look like and how does it work? The leading flat Earther theory holds that the Earth is a disk with the Arctic Circle in the center and Antarctica being a 150-foot-tall wall of ice around the rim or the edge of the Earth. It is believed that NASA employees guard this ice wall to prevent people from climbing over and falling off the disk. Furthermore, they hold the belief that our planet's sky is surrounded by a huge dome that holds in the air and protects us, with the Bible even mentioning a firmament in which the sun and the moon were placed. This is not to say that all flat earthers are religious and base their beliefs of a flat earth on religion. It does, however, help the flat earth story a little. An experiment called the Bedford Level Experiment was a series of attempts, beginning in the late 19th century, to show the curvature of the Earth's surface. First conducted by flat earther Samuel Burley Robotham, observations along a long, straight stretch of drainage canal in the English country of Norfolk seemed to confirm that the Earth is flat. The basic idea was to use the surveyor's telescope to observe marks at a uniform height above the water, spaced three miles apart. If the Earth is curved, the marks will not line up. Mariners had been correcting their lunar sights for the atmospheric refraction of light near the horizon since the 18th century, but the Flat Earth proponents failed to account for it and claimed the observed misalignment was much less than the crazy round Earth fanatics had predicted. Years later, Robotham's results were taken up by one of his supporters, one John Hampton, who wagered a bet that he would prove the Earth is flat. Alfred Russell Wallace took him up on this, and by accounting for optic refraction, he repeated the experiment and showed the Earth to be curved. Wallace was judged the winner by the editor of the field, but Hampton claimed Wallace had cheated. Death threats, libel cases, and Hampton went to prison soon after. Interestingly enough, this is the best example of evidence listed on the popular Flat Earth website, but why use it if the results proved the exact opposite? It might not come as a surprise, that there is a whole belief system in place that covers every aspect of a flat Earth. According to the flat Earth believer, the most obvious proof of our planet's flatness can be found by looking at the horizon. Flat Earthers claim that the horizon will always remain completely flat to the observer, regardless of how high they travel, and that people who claim to see the Earth's curvature from a plane are lying. That might actually be true. The thing is that the Earth is so big that it's impossible to see its curvature when standing on the ground. Just how big? If we were to start at the equator and go around, the Earth's equatorial diameter is 7,926 miles, or 12,756 kilometers. So standing on the ground to see the curvature of the Earth isn't possible anyway, but you could see this curvature of the Earth from any commercial flight, right? Visual daytime observations show that the minimum altitude at which curvature of the horizon can be detected is at or slightly below 35,000 feet providing that the field of view is wide at 60 degrees minimum and nearly cloud-free. Coincidentally, this is the same cruising altitude that commercial jets fly at, and that tiny passenger jet window is not going to give you the field of view you need, especially if you are over the wing. So you may or may not be able to see the curvature of the Earth this way after all. What about all the small, simple evidence that's out there? One of the clues that gave the ancient Greeks the idea that the world must be round was that ships seemed to progressively disappear over the horizon until just the top of the mast was showing. As they weren't sinking, the only way to explain the observation was to assume that, like the sun and the moon, the Earth was round, not flat. This is claimed to be nothing more than a mirage, a reflection of light caused by the atmosphere at sea level, where it looks like it's slowly appearing, but also floating, or even a reverse mirror effect. But what about from space? 
It is assumed that if all of us had the chance to go into outer space, we would probably take that opportunity to get a wide angle and in-person view of the Earth. But currently, this isn't possible or within reach for many of us. There is, however, the International Space Station, which has taken a lot of video and photographs for us in which you can clearly see the curvature of the Earth. So, isn't this proof enough? Not so fast. According to Flat Earth proponents, space agencies of the world are involved in a conspiracy, faking space travel and exploration. So unless you look at the photograph yourself, which would be impossible for most of us, then it has probably been faked by a global conspiracy designed to simply profit off of a round Earth model. And what about gravity? It would seem to dictate that if you believe in a flat Earth, that you also think that gravity is a hoax. Instead of gravity, it is believed that a difference in mass between one substance or another is what makes certain substances get pulled down, while some get pulled up. But wait, if you don't believe in gravity, what about the tides? Those are created by the Earth and the Moon's gravitational pull on each other. Doesn't this prove that gravity exists? No, it doesn't. The Flat Earth Theory suggests that the tides are caused by the activity of the Earth magnet that is at the bottom of the sea. It causes the change of sea levels. Earth's gravity is an illusion, they say. Objects do not accelerate downward. Instead, the disk of Earth accelerates upward at 32 feet per second squared, 9.8 meters per second squared, driven up by a mysterious force called dark energy. Flat Earther people also believe our day and night cycle is explained by the fact that the Sun and Moon are spheres measuring only 51 kilometers that move in circles 4,828 kilometers above the plane of the planet. That is quite a shift from the scientific consensus, which states that the Sun is 149.6 million kilometers from Earth. On the other hand, the evidence that supports a round Earth is pretty solid. Or is it? If the Earth was flat, everything on the outside of the disk be pulled towards the center, while those at the center of the plate were pulled straight down? Maybe it is the upward movement of the Earth that flat earthers say how the Earth moves that keeps our feet planted to the ground. But then again, if you don't believe in gravity, then this makes no sense. What about falling off the planet? Global conspiracies apparently prevent people from investigating these boundaries. If you made it this far, you would fall off the edge of the Earth. But in reality, Humans have circumnavigated the planet in planes and ships, and no one has fallen into space. One of the best arguments for a round Earth might be that other planets in our solar system are round. This basically says that the chances that the Earth is the only planet in our solar system that is non-spherical, yet subject to the same forces as other planets, are zero. And have you ever seen a lunar eclipse? It's when the Earth passes in between the Sun and our Moon and casts a shadow over the lunar surface. If you look closely, you can pick out a slight curvature. Curvature is possible with a flat disk, but even flat earthers admit that the Earth spins. If the Earth were flat, there would be some people that occasionally see a straight line projected on the moon or the edge of a disk. That hasn't happened since humans looked up, so a sphere is the logical shape to assume. In the end, what it comes down to is how far out are you willing to go in order to say everything that we know and understand has been faked to a degree that anyone that disagrees with the current norm has been lied to or deceived. But maybe some things have been faked. Maybe we are being lied to. But then again, there is overwhelming evidence that suggests that we are living on a round, spherical planet. Do you believe the Earth is round? Or do you believe it is flat? Let us know what you think in the comments.